Hey Draken, how are you doing this evening? And good evening to everyone else watching as well. Welcome back to Virtue's Last Rewards. Yeah, 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 okay, enough of that. Don't need any more of that stuff. Why is this so loud? Well, the boom a little bit, shall we? Alright, so now that I have finished Carnage Gore 3 last night, which was intense and fun and intensely fun, back to the visual novel grind, I suppose you could call it. With this, the sequel to 999. And, well, it's got a lot to offer so far. It's very different. It's a bit... It's <coughs> One moment. I'll just choke on my own words two minutes into a stream. Good job, me. It seems to be offering a slightly different experience to the first game. Enough to keep it entertaining. You're alright. You just did your Resident Evil Village speedrun and got a pretty good time, so I'm in a pretty good mood yourself. Yeah, it's been okay. Uh, been to the gym, work, sorting out some business for summer. That's why the stream is a bit later than usual. I've uh, went out and cooked curved some stuff for the uh, last week of my job before the break, obviously. For the six weeks of summer break when I go back in September. I uh, got some supplies for the summer, so I'm all set for cider, which is good. Uh, so that's why the stream is a little late. So, um, anyway, last time around in Virtue's Last Reward, we discovered you may just be able, to be able to get one puzzle done tonight, depending on what dialogue will be coming up for me. Well, that'll be nice. Need to open into this so we can have a nice big full screen. So, I will try to recap the events of the previous stream, which was the first part of this playthrough. We are playing as the Sigma Male Grind Set. Okay, we're not playing as that. We're playing as someone called Sigma, though. And he is stuck in this very familiar, but not quite the same, nonary game, Ambidex Edition. We started in elevators with a person called Fly. And we found everyone else. Various other people, including, from the previous game, Clover, who is back in this game for some reason. He's a little confused as to why she's here. And also, Alice, who is, well, she is apparently the coffin girl who was very briefly alluded to at the very end of the previous game. Uh, we don't know that ourselves the Sigma yet. We don't even know if it's the same person, but she seems to know Clover at any rate. Sweet, so you wanted to do like you with the Sigma male mindset. I'm only saying that because I came across the meme as uh, casually, just one of my recommendations. I'm not exactly sure what a Sigma male actually is. Anyway, the differences in the game this time is that we have um, we have to be in pairs or solos, three pairs, three solos. It's all about color matching through doors. The aim is to get your bracelet to hit nine bracelet points. We all start with three, and to upgrade our bracelet points, we apparently have to go into these ambidex rooms, which are near the, the door we need to escape. We don't know what will be involved when we do that, but we have been sent through three colored doors, or chromatic doors. Uh, we had to... The kicker is, is that pairs have to stay together, and that limits the number of people who can go through each one to three max. So we've been split into three threes. I've chosen to be with... Well, I'm stuck with five for the rest of the game, and Alice, of course. And no one knows what's going on, really, and that's about it. 
Oh yeah, and also Zero is now Zero Free, who is an AI which makes lots of rabbit puns. Apparently it's Sigma Male is just trying to turn into masculinist subcultures for a popular, successful, but highly independent and self-reliant man. Another term for a Sigma Male is a lone wolf. Oh, okay. I mean, I've heard of Alpha Male, but not Sigma. Not really. So, also another thing, the puzzles in this game are essentially broken down into the quest to find a safe. The safe has two possible codes, one that gives you escape, and one that gives you secret stuff. So, we managed to get the first one, and thanks to Trowkin's assistance, we managed to get the second one here. So, the secret stuff will give us extra bit of war, which may help us later down the line. And if I suspect correctly, it's probably need to get all 16 of them to unlock an ending. Anyway, we're gonna re- oh yeah, also... This is the flow chart. There are 18 possible endings. 18. Although only 9 seem to show up on the save file. So maybe there's some duplicates. But 18 possible endings. The paths are a bit different this time. Once you commit to one of these three doors, you are down. And you keep branching off and off and off and off. We're currently on this right side. Anyway. I'm gonna read these secret files. I'm not. Sh I don't think I can consider myself a Sigma male. Then in that case, Joe, I don't think I qualify. I might end up a Sigma male at some point, but not right now. <laughs> not that I really care about that. There are a total of seven. Okay, so there's more than just the three doors there. There'll be other doors later. Of chromatic doors in an honorary game facility, one for each of the following colours. Cyan, magenta, yellow, red, green, blue, and white. The primary chromatic doors will open at a specified time. Participants can see how much time it the primary doors open. Okay, so... Ha <laughs> ha, you screwed up, Joker. Okay. Several conditions must be met by the group that enters the primary door in order for the secondary door to open. There must be two pair of bracelets and one sewer. The colours of all three bracelets must to together, together form either the colour of the door they are trying to enter, or it's complementary colour. Oh, okay, now that makes sense why it's the same colour as the door. So basically, red and blue opens the door as does green and green. stands for Erotic Units. EU is a system devo developed to measure a combination of physical, emotional, and situation attractiveness. It ranges from 0 to 20, where 20 might be Marilyn Monroe and 0 might be Gilbert Gottfried. Ouch. For the curious, Danny Treasure rates 16 EU. Just being sexy does not guarantee a high EU rating. Not to be confused with competing systems of hotness or sexability. The EU system weighs a number of factors such as practicality, sustainability, emotional investment, and the bias of the observer. Women, women with a high EU rating have usually mastered the art of the tease. Uh, no idea how this rates into the game. Maybe it will later. A collection of Oh, okay. I guess we don't have the title on this. A collection of grandpa videos. A collection of films that Ten Miyoji has gathered. Their content isn't really explicit per se, but they still aren't really appropriate for someone's quant stage. It should be noted that the term does not imply the videos contain grandpas or grandpa like actors. Oh. Yeah, Sigma's a cat problem. Sigma has a strange verbal but possibly psychological tick which causes him to rate cat puns whenever he talks about cats. The cause of this behaviour seems to be an experience he had. Seems to be an experience he had a child? 
the cause of his behaviour seems to be an experience he had a child. Okay, so when he was, so apparently Sigma had a child at one point. <laughs> That's quite impressive. Either he adopted one, or he's one of the very few males in the world who can give birth. When Sigma was in preschool, there was a deserted house near the school that everyone called the Cat Mansion. He always loved cats, so every day he would visit the Cat Mansion and give the cats that lived there some of his lunch. One day he realized that he couldn't understand what the cats were saying to one another. A magical black cat appeared and told him that it had given him this gift in exchange for giving food to its fellows. But, the magical cat said, to be continued, you can never tell anyone about your gift, Magical Black Cat. Well, if you do, you'll be cursed. But young Sigma was so happy about his newfound ability that he slipped and told a girl about it. So the Black Cat cursed him. His curse was to speak only in cat puns for the rest of his life. Fortunately for him, a magical white cat came along soon afterwards, felt the curse was a little too harsh and lessened it, so that he would only talk in cat puns when he talked about cats. And it would have a way yeah, I guess that makes sense that they brought into things brought away. That's why these are the secret files. They give you, like, clues as to what's coming up. Now we know, that's why in the previous one we were told about the entire, all of this stuff, before we even saw any of it. That's kind of the hook to get you through the secrets. But we won't get everything on the phone. A device that converts sound into electrical signals and then transmits them over wires so can be decided and played back on the other end. It's useful for speaking to people who are far away. The invention of the telephone is generally credited to Alexander Graham Bell in 1776, but there is dispute in some circles as to whether or not this is the truth. In the game, there is a phone in one of the cabins. It can't call outside the facility, of course, but what if you try something like 5309 or 6969? Other numbers might do other things, so give it a try. Anyway, we are now in the post novel section after solving the second puzzle. And another thing that this game has the puzzles do not fuck around. Hey, looks like everyone's here. They all completed their tasks. Oh yeah, and Sigma doesn't talk. He only talks in text boxes, but everyone else talks. そう。おお、言うことも何もない。部屋を出てまっすぐ左へと進んできたら、ここにたどり着いたってわけだ。シグマ、さっきのマップ、もう一度見せてもらえないか。Oh yeah, we also found a map. Yeah, everyone it seems will have access to this point. So it's kind of confirming that all the paths lead to the same area, just like in the first non of the game. The paths were never designed, the paths don't, never seem designed to actually try and separate players off or force them to make brutal choices as to whether they can get back together. Just the appearance as such. Oh yeah, and this guy is not called K, but that's all he can remember. Because he has amnesia. He doesn't remember how he got into that... robot suit. But K is all he could remember of his name. あ、それだったら僕たちも見つけたよ。今室で。クーコーチェーズインフェーマリー。ジスビングベースオンザシップアゲン。どうやら情報交換をする必要がありそうじゃな。イスエスアナザープレイスオブウェアハウスイスビース
3, 2, 3 och vi är ute. Och vi just went straight on the elevator. Didn't consider whether it would be okay or not. Just here we are on elevator. Um, 上の階とほとんど変わんねえじゃねえ。でも扉に色がついてますよ。エレベーターを背にして左手が緑正面が青右手が赤に塗られていますこれってもしかして CD カラードドアってやつかなほら脇に見覚えのある装置もついてるし<笑>力づくでは開きそうもない。ねえアリスバングルなんか眺めてどうしたのうんちょっとね。Also, Clover smiles like all the time. Or gives off the appearance of smiling all the time. やっぱりそうだわ。And she does weird poses. 残り時間が変わってる冗談だろうこんな狭苦しいところであと2時間も待たなきゃいけないってのかやむをえんな。Oh, right. ここはひとまず引き返すしかあるまい。四つ葉、さっき見つけたメモのことみんなに教えてやってくれんかのえいいけどんもしかしてそれってルールの補足って書かれたメモのことじゃないだとしたら僕たちも持ってるよ医務室で見つけたんだ I won't go to repeat this because this is dialogue that we already. I already read last time. See there, the puns are just unbearable. そうじゃなければ例のカードキーの意味がなくなるアンビデックスルームのカードキーこれのことですね僕らが入った部屋にもあったよ同じものが<笑>倉庫に戻ってみましょうしまたゼロの言いなりになるのかよ Yeah, pretty much You don't really have a choice in this situation Unfortunately As much as it must suck to say Follow the orders of the AI You have no choice なんならお前さんだけ残ってもらってくれても構わんがの玄関の前にやかましい犬が一匹とはなんとも似つかわしいではないかジジイ噛み殺してよでどうするのよ戻るの戻らないの分かったよ行きゃいいんだろ行きゃうん
There is something I want to, there is some Doom thing I want to bring up, but I'll probably do it in the next few my Doom stream, which will be next few days, I think. Okay, so they went back down. I mean, is, is Quo meant to be spamming all the time, or is this some weird default thing they just didn't fix? Or is she on some kind of pills? She wasn't particularly happy to be involved in one of these games, or she says such earlier. Now she's just smiling all the time. Perhaps she knows, you know, that this game isn't really that deadly. So maybe she can afford to smile, because maybe it's achieving another objective. Something like that, you know? Yes, we could. Ah, minna de hide it Oh no. Also, now we know that hmm. Tenmyoji is Quark's grandpa. And now we know that Quark's grandpa has anime girls in his house. あ、なるほど。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
もないとわかるねいい子なんだウサそれじゃさっき保留にしてた話の続きをしようかな BP バングルポイントを9以上にするにはどうすればいいか。でも誰がどの部屋に入ればいいんでしょう、えー、っとビビすぐに決まってないよ誰がどの部屋に入ってもいいんだおさだけど部屋は6つしかないわよだから言ったじゃん表示が同色のピア版2名は維新同体運命共同体だってつまりペア版の2名は一緒に同じ部屋に入るということですかそういうことそれで部屋に入ったらどうすればいいのゲームをするんだよおいゲーム部屋の名前にもある通り AB ゲームアンビデックスゲームってやつをね So no chance of any old school boomer shooters in there, you know. Arousing rendition of Ultimate Doom. Maybe Quake. Maybe Redneck Rampage. Martin! But the Ambidex game. Whatever that is. So much of Ambidex is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 裏切りといったニュアンスも含む名刺のことです、really? <笑>まあ簡単に言うとそうなるねじゃあさっき言ってたノマリーゲームっていうのはそれはこのゲーム全体のことを指した呼び方なんだうさ今日の扉を開いて脱出するまで起きそうのがノナリーゲームその中で行われるちっちゃいゲームがアンビデックスゲーム分かったややこしいそうかな君の頭の回転が鈍いだけなんじゃないのリオくんいちいち勘に触るやつだな<笑>とにかくそういうことだから早速だけど AB ルームの方に移動してもらえるかな詳しい説明は中でしようこの方が分かりやすいと思うし OK so I guess we're gonna find out what the AB rooms are all about K Quark and myself gave each gave one card to Luna, Alice and Ken Mio then we head into the AB room There wasn't really any discussion about who's going to which door, but Fi and I found ourselves heading toward the west door. いちいち断らなくてもいい。さっさとやれ。アンビデックスゲートが解放されましたアンビデックスゲート投票の締め切りまで残り45分ですアンビデックスゲートボーイングボーイング Oh no, we have to vote どうしたんだ The first This is the Wow, it's the first time we're within the game I guess 何を言ってるんだ、お前誰もいないのは当然じゃないか
とにかく中に入ってみよう That was weird. I guess this weird machine is about to、uh, reveal its secrets, perhaps. Onaji da. Watashi tachi ga toji ko merare te ita heya to. Oku no monitor ka. The Amidex game will now begin. When to your vote, please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the poll will work automatically. It will not open again until the polling period has finished. Okay. Pata! What are you doing, Homai? Monitor の説明文読まなかったのかスタートボタンを押したらこのラウンドが終了するまで扉は開放されない、well, anyway. つまり40分以上もここから出られないことになるんだぞそうなんだよ<笑>よーよーやっとみんな AD ゲートを閉めてくれたみたいだね<笑>今君たちがいる部屋 AB ルームの扉のことだよというわけでさっきの説明の続き完成点をもらうことにするんだうさあはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはい実は何もバトルロイヤル的に全員で戦うってわけじゃないんだおさ一つ一つのラウンドは個人戦になってるもっともペアバンド2名を1人とみなした上での個人戦だけどだから正確に言うと2対1の戦いってことになるねどっちそのことになるのかっていうとチームを組んで同じ色の扉に入った人物がそれになる例えば白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカードを組んだ人は白のカアリスくんが戦うべき相手はシグマくんとファイくんってことになる同様にケイくんとヨツバくんにとっての敵は天明じいさんになりリオくんクオークくんにとっての敵はルナくんになるんだうさまあ敵っていう言い方はあんまりふさわしくないかもしれないけどお互いに協力を選べば味方にもなりうるわけでえ,え意味がわからないって大丈夫だよちゃんと説明してあげるからまずは奥の装置にあるモニターに注目してもらいたいんだうそ A 協力 B 裏切りって表示されてるよね A L I D B T R. 君たちがすることはたった一つ。このうちのどちらかを選ぶこと。その結果によって君たちの B P バンブルポイントは増えたり減ったりすることになるんだうさ。わかりやすいように表にまとめておいたから、とりあえずこれを見てくれたまえ。ここにある。プラスやマイナスの値は自分から見た場合のものね。The plus and minus are from your point of view. Okay, so if you ally and the opponent ally, you get plus two to the BP. 
if you ally but your opponent betrays, you get minus two. If you if you or your partner betray and your opponent allies, you gain plus three. And if you betray, if you both betray, then you go nowhere. Oh, I see. So this is the, um, uh, what's it called? The, this is like the, um, the prisoner's dilemma, isn't it? Where, you know, I like that old game that Jasper Carrot used to host, you know, Golden Ball where in the final you could both have to split the money or one of you could betray the other if you both chose to betray it didn't work except it seems in this one you incentivize to go for the betray and help the other's ally so that you can get two hops to nine and now that i think about it um what happens if you go above nine points Because you get, because obviously you think, oh, everyone just allies, you get plus two, and everyone gets a point. But you're on three. Oh, wait, that would also get you to nine. Fine. All oh, right, so what the hell is the jeopardy in this game then? There isn't really any jeopardy except for people being idiots. Everyone allies, everyone gets nine, everyone goes home. I feel this. I feel there should be a catch to this, but there isn't one. Oh, but unless someone is impatient and wants to betray twice. I thought for a second there might have been an interesting kicker, but no, it was to... Everyone just allies and you win. That's it. Of course, there's the whole psychological thing with will they? Yes. ひどい相手だね。ボールだった。持ち付きの切れで後頭部をぶん殴っちゃうな。テイルズ、ワッツテイルズ。3番目は今の逆。自分は裏切りを選んだにもかかわらず、押し返しの対戦相手が強力を選
言わなきゃいけないことがあるんだけどまああんまり長々と説明しても退屈だろうし。<笑> Oh, why are you not telling you? いいからいいから<笑>投票の締め切りまで残り30分ですというわけだからそろそろ僕は失礼するよ時間はまだたっぷりとあるんだから最後までじっくりと悩んで結論を出すといいんじゃないかなほいじゃあまた Have a nice trust. Okay, so if everyone thinks logically, this game is, this is essentially dead easy. You just ally three times and everyone gets nine points. But of course, that isn't going to happen, is it? Because Everyone's learning about this in individual pairs. They're all going to be thinking about two betrays and an hour and they get out, which would make it harder for them to be able to pull it off twice. And it doesn't really explain what happens if you end up with more than nine points. Like, say you betray and then get two allies, you end up with ten points. Can you, do you then have to get, deduce it down to, like, Huh. I guess you could be really screwed if. And also, <laughs> it depends how many times you get to go in these rooms as well. Like, is, is, there, is there only going to be so many chances to be able to go through the doors? Hmm. Because we know there's the primary doors with the first set of keys, and there's the secondary doors with the second set of keys. So, if there's a third set of doors, that would mean that everyone can do the game and get the points. But they don't know that. They only know there's two sets of doors. So it might make them think betray is an option. But ah,、oh, wow. It's like a whole psychological mind fuck on the prisoner's dilemma, isn't it? AB gamer no kotoka. Well, this sets things up very nicely, actually. It's a simple enough decision, but. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's based on the prisoner's dilemma. シラナイノカ囚人の事例マトはゲーム理論等でしばしば引き合いに出されるユーメンの問題のことだ今ここに重大な罪を犯して逮捕された林檎ちゃんとバナナくんがいるとする名前は適当につけたものだ気にするなと
So say nothing and do two years. Tell on the other guy do one year and the other guy does fifteen. Both of you confess and you do ten. That's a bit of a weird system. よく考えて結論を出してくれ。いや、<笑> Yeah, and that's the conflict that gets into people. If you don't confess and you put your trust in the other guy and he screws you over, he or she screws you over, you get the bat end of the stick. It's the same thing that Golden Balls did with Jasper Carrot. They put the same exact situation. Well, slightly modified. You both stayed silent, you got half the money. If one of you got confess, if one of you chose to steal, you got the money if you ever chose to stick. If you both chose to steal, you both walk away with nothing. You went to some interesting psychological tactics. Oh man, I wonder if I can show a clip from it actually. See if I can... There's a particularly interesting little uh, video on that actually. Uh... Oh, I wonder if I can show this or whatever. Hmm. Uh... Are you still here, Draken? By the way. Yeah, this is a kind of a interesting. Right, is this there was this scenario here? I'm just going to show this. This is kind of interesting, and it does relate to this a little bit. So I'm going to switch this over briefly. Ooh, need to uh, get that to fit the screen. Don't worry, Twitch. This TV show doesn't exist anymore. Welcome back to Golden Balls. After a run of big cash balls. Ibrahim and Nick now have £13,600 in front of them. We know they've got it, but the golden question is, can they keep it? Ibrahim and Nick, you yeah, face a very straightforward weird. choice, but it's a choice that could make one or both of you extra wealthy, but it could also lose both of you everything that you have fought for today. They have to decide to split or steal. Yeah, so you see, it's setting up the same sort of dilemma at the end. Ibrahim, Nick, you have two final golden balls in front of you, and they are the most important golden balls of the game. You each have a golden ball with the word split written inside. You both have a ball with the word steal written inside. You will know which is split and which is steel because you're going to have a look. If you both pick the split ball, you split the 13,600 and you go home with 6,800 each. If one of you chooses the steel ball and the other chooses the split ball, whoever chooses the steel ball goes home with the whole lot, 13,600. But if you both choose the steel ball, you leave today's game with what you came with. Nothing. So you see, it's the same situation. It's the ultimate test of faith, trust, and let's face it, greed. Take a moment to look 
at the balls in front of you so you know for definite which is split and which is steel. But obviously, keep them concealed from each other. Just have a look. So what you're about to see is some interesting psychological tactics that are used for an interesting outcome. I'm just going to sort of let this play out and you'll get to hear what they say to each other. This is okay. the kind of shit we might expect in this game. It's the easiest choice, going forward. but the most difficult one. What I want you to do is to spend half a minute talking to each other about what you both should do. Nick, Abraham. Abraham, I want you to um, trust me. 100% I'm going to pick the steel ball. Sorry, you're going to... I'm going to choose the steel ball. You're going to take the I steel. want you to do split, and I promise you that I will split the money with you. Well, after you've took the steel? Yeah. You're going to take steel? Yeah. I'm going to take split? Yeah. So you take the money... And I will split it with you. After the show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham, I promise you I'll do that. If... If, if you do steal, we both walk away with nothing. I'm telling you 100% no, I'm going to do it. I appreciate that. Right, I'll give you another alternative. <sighs> Why don't we just both pick split? I'm not going to pick split. I'm going to steal, Ibrahim. Honestly, 100% I'm going to steal. It's in your nature to steal. No, I, I'm honest, and I'm going to tell you're, you... You're an honest I am. That's why I'm telling you I'm going to steal. If you do split, then I will I split the money. I can't see myself doing that. OK, well, I'm going to steal, so we're going to leave with nothing. Where's your brains coming from? <laughs> I can't work out. I know that I'm a decent guy and I will split the money with you. Well, we should just both split then. No, I'm going to do steal. There is no legal no, I know, requirement I know there is. I know there for is. him to give you the of money. Of course. If I gave you my word... Now, let me, let me tell you what my word means. OK. My father once said to me, a man who doesn't keep his word is not a man. He's not worth nothing. Not worth a, not worth a dollar. I agree. So, Abraham, I'm going to steal. So you've got the choice. You either steal, and we both walk away with nothing. Because you know, I've told you my intention, and I've told you that I will split the money with you, Abraham. If I gave you my word that I was going to split, I would split. And you're going to take steal, so... The only way you can guarantee to walk away with 6,800... Is by sharing. ...is to guarantee that you both put the split ball in. And I do now have to push you for a decision. It's a tough one. We've lost it. We've lost everything. Okay. Class, then. We're walking away with no money because you're an idiot. No, that's you're not You're an true. idiot. You're an idiot. That's what you are. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. That's what you are. We, we, this can go on all night and these people have got to get up for breakfast. <laughs> Nick, choose split or steal. Ibrahim, choose split or steal. Now, please. Choose a ball. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with you. Okay. I'm going to go with I you. I promise you I will split it. You cannot change your balls now. Split or steal? Yes! Congratulations, you have both split and each received £6,800. Why did you put me through that? Why did you do it to me? Who the worst person I've ever met? Well, it's charity all the way, and a market trader you can really trust. Congratulations to you both. I've been Jasper Carrot. This has been a remarkable game. They've been lovely. This has been Golden Balls. Until next time, goodbye. So there you go, you see. That's the kind of weird tactics that can happen in this type of scenario. The guy basically was like, Oh, I'm going to steal. I'm going to steal the, the the thing. So, you know, I'll split the money with you. And you might think it's a bit odd, but the whole purpose of this tactic is to, like, make sure that the other guy doesn't steal and convince him to go to split, you know, like the whole trustworthy thing that the whole point of it is to deceive the other person into saying yeah to choosing the the the, the split option to make sure he doesn't choose steel because it's like saying okay if you choose steel on me i'm telling you i'm gonna steal we get nothing so you will choose split so that at least you know we get a a 50 50 
you know, you have a choice. It takes away that decision from him. It's like, oh, my opponent's going to steal. So if I choose to split, I, I, I lose. If I choose to steal, we get nothing. But he says he's going to give me half the money anyway even though it's not a legal requirement. And he basically makes sure that the other guy does not choose to steal. It was very clever psychology there. And it was actually relevant to the game. Anyway, back to the game with the chat that doesn't talk for 30 plus minutes, which is why I don't play, play this in one burst. I come out, I do something interesting and no one's dogging. Ah, why do I even bother? Anyway, back to the game. なるほどな。だが、お前は大事なことを忘れている。相方のバナナ君も間違いなく同じように考えるだろうってことだよ。いや、その結果、二人は共に罪を打ち明け、懲役十年の刑に処されることになるんだ。yeah, that's the thing. Like, you would obviously stay silent, do it for two years and get out. Nothing else needs to be done with it. What's the point in taking the risk? それよりも8年も長く服役しなければならないことになってしまった。つまり、個人の合理的な判断は集団に対して不利益をもたらすばかりでなく、その判断を行った個人にとっても不幸な結果を招くということだ。Of さらに興味深いのは次の点にある。今仮に閉じ込められた9人全員を1つの仲間、1つのチームと考えてみることにしよう。すると9人にとっての敵は誰になる。そうだな。要するに我々9人はこの例えば9人全員が協力を選んだ場合、チーム全体の総得点はいくつになる。じゃあ、ペア版のうち1組だけが裏切りを選んだとしたら。集団の利益を考えて行動するのは最も有効な策となる。それが各自が集団の利益を追求し出すと、集団にとってマイナスになるばかりか。むしろ巡り巡って、自分の首を絞ることにもなりかねない。わあ、いや。9人全員が裏切
全体にとっても個人にとっても不利益をもたらすということだ。Yeah, that's what's called being. <laughs> that's kind of like when you think a m o r a l s You know, you think logically but selfishly. Well, kind of. It's not quite the same, I guess. うん。今ここで最も理にかなった選択を行うとするなら、我々の投票先は裏切りの一択で決まりということになる。みんながハッピーになれる選択肢があるにもかかわらずそれを合理的には選べないという点にあるんだ選びたくても選べないだからジレンマなんだよ我々が協力を選びアリスも同じく協力を選んでくれたとしたらそりゃもう最高に幸せなことだ3人が揃って2点を獲得できることになるからなそれが理想形我々が目指すべき形はそこにあるだがもしもアリスが裏切りに投票したらどうなる Yeah, but I think what we're forgetting here is that if, if, if people learn the outcome of each of these games, then they will be able to tell others that that person will betray them. So the person who's doing the betraying wouldn't want to do it until like, they had. Enough points to get through on one betray. Like, if you betray right off the bat, everyone knows you're a betrayer, and no one's going to vote ally with you, because they know that you would want another betray to get to nine points. So it'd be way difficult to do that. You know? I mean, we don't know what happens if you get ten points in the game. Or what happens if you get zero points? Do you die if you go below zero BP? とにかくアリスが協力を選ぶという確証がない以上我々は裏切りを選ばざるを得ないんだよ I don't agree with that Even if we choose our way and she choose betray Now everyone knows Alice is a betrayer and no one's gonna give her any more points It screws the whole game up for everyone So, no way, I just choose our way all the way. If you choose to be a leader, the leader will be the leader. I know that. 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 And I simply don't agree with that. その話はもううんざりだ<音楽>そっちこそどうなんだお前の方こそゼロの仲間なんじゃないか落ち着きすぎているからだ突然こんなわけのわからないところにぶち込まれたというのに
どうしてそんな風に平然としていられる話をそらすな今はお前の話をしているもしやお前も私のことを知っているのではないか Oh, maybe he has. Got a weird memory going through suddenly. Sigma. What the? What is going on? It's <laughs> a Wait, it says solo that time on the, on the whatever this is. Sigma. Omae ni wa kansha shite ru. Kou shite shi o kakugo shi nagara mo. Omae wa kono ba ni fumi todo matte kureta. Arigato. Sigma. Oh, that's a double smiley face. But what the heck, Sigma? Going... What the heck? Suddenly flash? Wait, moon? What? what? Uh, meanwhile in local 58? Okay, well, that was a weird series of events. We had a different vice on um, that showed two minutes solo. Sigma and Fire seem to know Sigma, and we're on the moon, and then there's an explosion. What did you do? What? A bomb! Fai and I spent the rest of the time until the door opened in silence. The AB game was forgotten as I tried to make sense of what I'd seen. Had it been real in any way? Or was it all. Or was it just a hallucination brought on by stress or maybe some strange drug they dosed me with while I was out? Did it seem real? Was it a premonition? I had to stifle a bark of laughter at the fort. Seeing the future? This wasn't some crappy sci-fi novel. This was real life. Things like that didn't happen. I was just tired. The stress of the nonary game was probably getting to be more than five fought. I was tired and I was emotional. An hallucination was strange, but really it was perfectly understandable. But... What if I wasn't losing it? What if I was fine? What if it hadn't been a hallucination? I sat there for what felt like hours, my mind running in circles. Very strange. Ambidex game. Although I guess it was more like 15 minutes because that's how long 
actually passed. I better turn the lights on in my room. Oh, we have to choose. Any non voting parties will automatically ally. Well, I guess that's what happens if we don't vote. So, Naruma. Daga, whatever was sitting here, no, 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 ウラギリを選ぶか。死ぬ。BP if we believe that hallucination, it seems like both of us have played this dance before. But then again, apparently the moon exploded, so... <laughs> This was wrong. Fire was supposed to be acting strange, not me. Instead, here she was asking if I was okay. But what if it wasn't just her? What if I was losing it too? I groaned. My head felt awful. It was like someone had thrown my brain in a food processor and it puree. Oh no, we got one minute left. Oh, what do we do? I've already decided, by the way. Oh, I'm going to have to do the time limit, Sigma. How do I do it? If you don't do it, I'm going to do it. I stood in front of the selection screen and took a deep breath. This was it. I ran over my options one last time. There was only one possible choice.
There was only one possible choice. I had to betray Alice. I had to betray Alice. Nope. Fuck that. I'm choosing ally. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to go for the... I mean, I assume this is one of the split options anyway, so we'll have to do both eventually. But I'm going for ally. The reason being that even if we do end up getting betrayed, everyone will now know who the betrayers are, and we know who's more likely to be allies, and therefore we can rig it so that we go through gates with them next time. Hopefully Alice will also think to ally. So, no, you know, as Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Sigma, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you Yeah, I heard, and I didn't agree with it. That's it. ごりてきな意見とは言えんな。Well, we don't die even if we are wrong. We just end up on one point. <laughs> so, I guess this might explain where all the splits are going to come from then. Aside, it's not going to be coming from the doors. Well, not just the doors, anyway. It's also going to come from the AB games. Whether we choose to ally or betray in each such attempt. Ambidex game! You just felt like shouting at randomly. Oh, hey, you are still here. <laughs> Correct. I'm glad you're still here, Joking. <laughs> no one else has spoken in an hour. Well, time to find out what everyone else picked. Oh, cool. What did they all choose? Okay. Oh, what? She chose to betray us. Wow. Well... I guess Alice wasn't to be trustworthy then. But the thing is, now, you look at that and it's like, okay, it's not great now, but look at who has been ousted as betrayers. You know. We now know that Kay and Clover will betray people, and we know that Alice will betray people. So, none of them are going to get anyone to go with them, and they might end up with each other. And then that would be really interesting because now they uh, they only have to betray one more time. But everyone knows who the betrayers are. Whereas here, everyone's on five points because they were smart and chose the friendly option. So, you know, I mean, who the fuck is going to not ally with... Who the fuck is going to ally with any of these three now? You've essentially ousted yourselves as being betrayers. There's no way you could win. You will get zero points for the rest of the game and so will everyone else with you. Just... 
ケティ。結果発表は以上なんだうさ。It just doesn't pan out. You, you would want to do that later in the game. You know, if that was like the decision that got you nine points, yeah, then you'd do it. But now, who, how are you going to get those three points? You hope that people forget? Hope you end up going through particular doors? Rig the system? But no one's ever going to vote ally with you now to give you a three point boost. バングルの数字を確かめてほしいんだうさ。In the long run, we could still get four allies in a row and win. And we're more likely to be. If anything, this might dictate which groups we all end up in. Because now we know which groups can be trusted. Yeah, you see, now no one is going to trust ours. I thought you were trustworthy, you Egyptian coffin bitch. I guess spending all that time on your own in a coffin made you less trustworthy. どういうこともなにもないわ。私はただ最も理にかなった選択をしたまでよ。No, you did not. この状況で裏切り以外を選ぶなんてありえないでしょ Yeah, except for the fact that no one's going to give you any more points for the rest of the game. 頭悪いんじゃないのあなたたち。むしろ私の方が聞きたいくらいだわ。なんで協力なんてバカな手を選んだの Because if everyone chooses our eye, then we all win. But of course, because no one's going to do that, we end up with conflict. Just like in the first game, we all could have gone through the doors, but we all choose to kill each other and be murderous and be ex members of pharmaceutical companies and do weird things. <laughs> Yeah, and now no one is going to go with them. It's not like they can change groups. If you're in a pair with these two, you will choose betray regardless of situation. There's no way you choose our eye. So, you're never getting any points, you're never getting any points, you're practically stuck forever. Why is it not reasonable? I don't understand why they say it's not a reasonable outcome, bro. If everyone chooses it, we win in three turns. Now, この結果が全てを物語ってる。Well, find out soon that でしょ ?They tell you that you and these two are never going to go anywhere, and everyone else can. 出会ったばかりの人間をむやみに信じるなんて、よっぽど純粋なのね、あなた。まあ、純粋というか、ただの愚か者だけど。<笑>あら、怒ったごめんなさい。一応忠告してあげたつもりなんだけどなアリスの言う通りだシグマお前は愚かな選択をしたおかげで我々の BP は1に No, we made the correct decision in the long run I refuse to believe that was a bad decision Just be patient I sent my jaw and stomped away from Alice in the fight. My hands had balled themselves into fists, but my throat was tight and my eyes stung. Why? Why had she done it? Bart, Theo, and Luna's group, on the other hand, seemed calm, almost happy. Because they, weren't, because they were smart. To play the long game! Ah. Uh. Uh. 本当のこと言うと、リオさんは裏切りを選ぼうとしてたんだ。えおいリオさんは裏切りを選んで、3点をもらって、2人で脱出しようって言ったんだよ。そしたら、僕たちの BP は6になって
but no one would want to press ally against you. Jeez. If three people would pick betray, no one is going to want to press. It will just be betray, 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 because there's no guarantee of ally. Jonathan realized the shortcuts. Yeah, in the next round, except everyone knows who the betrayers are. That's what makes this a little different from the dilemma. The dilemma is a one-time deal. This game repeats itself. You and good thing Quark talked you out of it, Dio. Yeah, Nope, that's exactly what happened. I believe it. リオさんがそんなこと言うわけないじゃん。冗談なんですか冗談。ああ。いきなり何を言い出すのかと思ったぜ。もう聞いてる。びっくりしたでしょ。じゃあ、やっぱり最初から協力を本当にありがとうございます
or everyone will take ally by default. I guess that's one way that could work. But that just means that no one's going to want to go with... Well, we're probably not going to realise that possibility. No, you want to be real careful with Quake Kane Clover then. で、結局トータルでは何回行われるんだ、エリーゲーム。そう。何回になるんだろうね。回数は分からないけど、とにかく誰かが9の扉を開くまでは続けるつもり。All ゲームは終了ということか。うん。その人が9の扉を開きさえしなければ、ゲームは継続されるよ。もちろん、真相ゲームな感じで、全員の BP が1から8の間をいったり来たりと繰り返された場合も、オーナーチー。BPが9を
わずかな電気が流れてるの知ってるかなほら、心電図ってあるでしょあれは、真剣に生じた電流の推移をグラフ化したものなんだよね。ところで、電気が流れてるってことは、当然そこから微弱な電波も放たれていることになるわけで。君たちのバングルは、その電波を拾ってるんだよ、常にね。んで、その電波が途絶えると、バングルのロックが、解除されるんだなそういうことこれが2つ目の方法通帳が止まればその人のバングルは外れるようになってるんだうさこれら2つの方法以外では決してバングルを取ることはできない、hey, <laughs> no real puzzles but we had the AB game discussion I guess もしも無理に外そうとしたり破壊を試みようとした場合には即座にルール違反とみなされるルール違反を犯した者がどうなるのかは言うまでもないよねああそうそう運が良ければ次のラウンドで実際にバングルが外れるところを見られるかもしれないよあごめん当事者にとっては運が悪ければだね Yeah, I did say maybe one. s i n g i n r o u n d o Do you i m u o k o r o n a i k o n a t i g i t a AB game de, d a r e k a g a s h i n o k o t o n a r k a m o s i r e n a i So it d i d n t Ma, s h i n u t o s t a r a テンミおじいさんかファイくんかシグマくんのうちの誰かなんだけどねいいよ全員って可能性もあるから<笑>な、なんじゃとふむ教えて信じよう BP が0以下になった人にはルール違反を犯した時と同じようにペナルティが課せられるんだウソそのペナルティが何なのかは前にも言った通りだシグマくん正解 Just like I said So if I had been right But how would she know before Zero told us? なるほどわしとファイとシグマの BP は1次のラウンドで2点引かれて0以下になるのはこの3人しかおらんわけかそう、グループも変わってるんです。あ、わあ、そう、グループも変わってるんです。あ、わあ、そう、グループも変わってるんです。あ、わあ、そう、グループも変わってるんです。あ、わあ、そう、グループも変わってるんです。あ、わあ、
今まではソロだったのにペアに変わっててえそうなの私はソロのままで同じだけどわしもルナと同じじゃソロからペアになっておる私は逆だペアからソロに俺はペアのまんまで変化なし色は紫色になってるけどな天明寺とファイも紫色かおうそうだ私とクオーク君と四つ葉さんは水色ですね僕と K さんがペア版で四つ葉さんはソロ版かな So the groups don't stay the same either. And the colors change, so groups are encouraged to mix it up. This is an interesting turn of events. Oh, so me die. It's no money, Kawatandaro. Now that throws a spanner into the works, but it still means you know who's going to choose for Trey. AB Gate or Hesa Statoki. So, you know. AB ゲートが閉まると同時にバングルの表示色は自動的にシャッフルされるようになってるんだうさそれからソロとペアの区別もねシャッフルの仕方はあくまでもランダム特に法則性みたいなものはないんだうささてとというわけでこれにて僕は消えるのだもしかしたらもう二度と。君たちに会うことはないかもしれない。え oh, what a that 進行役としての僕の務めは、もうほとんど果たしたようなもんだからね。あとは、君たちだけでも十分やっていけるでしょ。Oh no, I'm going to miss the AI. F in the chat for zero the third. だから。Which way the only person watching can say that they want. <laughs> It's you, Draken. This might as well just be a private stream between you and me at this point. w h i c h for tonight, anyway. We could play all the games we want, just you and I, and nobody else. This is what it's like to have zero viewers. Or one viewer. Oh my god, I got two viewers. I'm back to being popular, baby. Yeah! Hey, Gogging, how you doing? Snorts. Don't cry now, Corn King. We're never seeing Zero the Third again. You won't be missed. Now hop to it. <laughs> What a shame. See, it looks like we had a ball. You... No, you don't want to eat the rabbits, Corn King. <laughs> That's some ice p o w e said last night to w i c k e r Whoa, Sigma, calm down, man. Where's the calm down for Sigma? <laughs> you fucking dick! You mad? You p l a y e Have a nice t r a g e d y Alright. Bye. I guess. So, that means only one person has to hit the nine right. That means, that means only one person has to hit nine, right? Nah, I think it's a rabbit. They said they were a rabbit last time, Corn King. So that changes things a bit then. So, really, the game could end in two turns, depending on what the groups are now. So, if someone with six points. Yeah, okay, so this actually is not. This actually works out fine for everyone anyway. So, one person chooses Betray in the next game, they get nine points as long as nobody kills off someone on zero, one BP. Then everyone leaves next turn. Game's over. Right? In theory, that means that 
the tray was a slightly faster option, actually. But something tells me it's not gonna work out that way. We go to the secondary rooms, find moon cards, and do this all over again. CD no daichi tobira ga hiraku made, mada daibu aru kedo. Somehow this relates to some. Man, when's all, where's all the cool explanations of real world shit? Where's my Titanic conspiracy theories? All we've had is the prisoner's dilemma and a very, very brief explanation of shuddering his cat. I want my crazy, wacky theories, please. Bring them back. 42 minutes. Well, I don't know, Corn King. I mean, Clover's technically probably also saw the kid. What the hell is that, John? That is Alice. She may be a mummy from the Egyptian era. We don't know. But we know that she betrayed us. I doubt it. こんなところでじっとしていても仕方がありません。やれるだけのことはやって。それでもどうにもならなければ、例の扉へ。では、別れて探索することにしよう。集合時間はCDの第一扉が開く5分前。場所は同じく、CDの第一扉前。ということで、
Well, we might not be in Japan. We don't know where we are. We're just in a... We are just in a warehouse playing a version of the nonary game that's a bit different. The parking lot was empty and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly face, but it's not quite the same rules as the first game. It's different. The last time I'd looked at the clock, it had said it was two in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas Day. So why was I at school typing away feverishly on Christmas? There were three reasons. First, my home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting the stupid thing, so I headed back to campus to use one of the school machines. Second, the professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. Third, my girlfriend had broken up with me a week before. I'm sorry, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye, all I got was that one, cold email. Try as I might, I couldn't even gain touch with her. Of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning on going to. Somehow, I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. It wouldn't have been. At any rate, I stood up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. So your crime was basically working on Christmas Day. Snid! That's your crime. That's why you were chucked in this nonary game. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt light. Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper, or perhaps it was the five energy drinks I chucked to stay awake. Yeah, I know how that feels, pal. I know how that feels. I had to do that once. I have told that story. Perhaps it was both. I swung into my car and stopped the key into the ignition after only two tries. I twisted the key. Nothing happened. Huh? I jiggled the key in the slot and tried again. And again. And again. On the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise like metal on metal and fell silent. God damn it! You stupid piece of shit! I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. The console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Ah, no! The car is angry at me! You insult my car! Huh? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? I called at the door and for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit, open goddammit. What was going on? My mind was racing trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening as a haze of fear and caffeine fueled neuron misfires. That was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rear view mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car. I spun around as fast as a very tired college student sitting in a car can. <laughs> Who's there? My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. The serial killer was about to strike. The more of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt, and I could already feel the world starting to go dark. The last of my strength failed and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed. And then you woke up here. When they opened again, I was in the AB room with Fi. Alright, thanks for that. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and made it off. 
Oh, okay. We've got your choice, are we? So, here we are in terms of the flow. Because we chose to ally and Alice did not, we are now on the left side of the uh, right hand path. And we'll be getting down to one of these two endings here this one and this one. Hmm. So, yeah. We have the free door choice at the beginning of the game, and after that, it looks like every option comes down to an ally or betray coin for it. 50 50 decision, I guess. And that's going to be where every choice comes in. So it's not like down to whether or not you go for a certain door or whether you ignore something. It comes down to what door do you pick and do you press ally or betray? a little simplistic, but I guess it has to be, but whatever. Alright, let's see, which one to go with? Well, I'm guessing we're going to go to all three of these anyway. Screw it, let's go to all three. If we can. The crew quarters. So, how's your map coming along for uh, Karja anyway, Golden King? Is it going along well? その時どこか不自然な箇所は見当たりませんでしたか例えば隠し通路がありそうなところとかではほかに何か変わったところこの本は何おいでショーディングスキャットおおなおでカットパンズコミングにゃ yeah, you can't help but be cat but <laughs> What's that expression there? Neko no fun te you know? ああ、それなら私も知っています。インフレショビングスキャット。ある装置が組み込まれて運ばれる。一匹の猫が閉じ込められている。その猫は生きている状態と死んでいる状態が重なり合ったまま共存している。確かそんな内容の話でしたよねえとにかく何かの手がかりにはなりそうもにゃいねどうしたクオーク君映ってますよあっよっしゃ、is <笑> a <笑> No, god damn it, Gold King. My chat is both alive. Well, that's probably not actually the far off. My chat for this game is both alive and dead. This is why this is why these visual novels aren't getting played anymore after this one and the letter. And why there's gonna be a lot more stuff based around them. But I am enjoying this story. It doesn't seem quite as Engaging as the first game, but there's enough being, there's enough stuff happening, so I'm, I'm invested for now. I'm curious to see what happens in the second round. Now that we've established the trails. You might have, you might have missed the entire AV game, Paul, which you've been working for a while. Oh. 
怪しいといえばこの建物の全てが怪しさに満ちていることになりますが、well, no、まあそのことはひとまず置いておくことにしてラウンジで気になったのは月食をモチーフにした仕掛けがあったことぐらいでしょうかそのことに関連した特殊な技術を設置されていますこれは本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に<laughs> so 2028 will be 24.4 hours stream. Well, who knows where I'll be in 2028, Lord King. If my plans come to fruition for this decade, hopefully by then I'll be in my own, out of my own house. And we'll have quite a bit of financial security. And if things don't go, don't go well, well, I probably won't be here. I'll probably just be offline or something. Just working and being very upset. Who knows what could happen? Why, you could wake up dead tomorrow. Yotsuma-san was saying that. I think that's what it's going to be. Oh, that's what it's going to be. I'd been knocked out at dawn on the 25th, so the 31st will be six days after that. Lunar Eclipse? Lunar Eclipse? What did it have to do with any of this? Try as I might, I couldn't think of any way an eclipse could be connected to our abductions. I think we've talked too much about Schrodinger's cat, John. Kuoku-kun? <laughs> the ん探索してる間に何か気づいたことはありませんでしたかうんあるよ一つだけリオさんやルナさんからまだ何も聞いてないわかったそれじゃあ教えてあげるこれを見ておおなおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
but when Deus Ex and the Secret World start talking about real world concepts and splice them into the video game, it's cool. I mean, I say, I, I'm sort of joking, a lot of video games have viruses and infections and stuff like that, you know. It's not, it's not really a thing to go, oh, it was like the coronavirus. Because it happens to mention 100,000 and stuff like that. I mean, for all we know, in 2028, there might actually be another infection. I, I half expect it to be another pandemic in this decade at some point. Later on in the decade, though. So we'll have several years of recovery, and then near the end of the decade, there'll be some other screw. But there have been quite a lot of potential pan pandemics in the last couple of years. Some didn't get far, and this one did. And now we have Radical Six. So yeah, since you're here, Corn King, it. Uh, sorry, where are we? Yeah, have you heard about this project, Corn King? Ramp. I think I mentioned it last month, but I think it's very close to being uh, to being released. I am contemplating whether to play it or not, since it sounds exactly like the kind of thing I would actually like. I'd be right dead into a massive community project that doesn't revolve around established names. And it's a free-for-all, essentially like a, the Mega World project used to be before it became Time of Death's personal boar factory. Is there a pandemic raging on the other side of these walls? Yeah, that's true. As I said, some of the earlier ones they caused panic, but they were contained very effectively. You know, Ebola, SARS, bird flu. They all cause things, but they've all been pandemics in the last 10 or 15 years. And coronavirus was just the one that didn't. And I expect it, I expect therefore there'll be some bother pandemic in a couple of years time that may or may not have a similar impact. It depends if people learn the lessons from this one, but I don't want to delve into that too much. I'm just mainly looking forward to seeing restrictions end next week so I can go and get back to a slice of normality again. ねえ、だけど心配してても have you heard of this ramp, Corn King? Don't worry, I mean, I know what I said that I didn't want to deviate from my request list to, um... Upset for exceptional releases, but I have a feeling that ramp might qualify. It just has that feeling of being a pretty significant release that might warrant some attention. I think. Being sort of as predecessor to the highly acclaimed Dump series, which was similar. I can tell you this potentially could be a wild roller coaster. Yeah, I've heard the quality. There has been some interesting posts I've seen in it. It's it's got that Doom World mega project type potential. That's what excites me about the project. The Doom World mega project, it took me several years to appreciate it, but what I really liked about the Doom World mega project was that you would get a mixture of everything. 
you'd get some really quality gems, you'd get some bad maps, you'd get some weird, bizarre shit. And it was glorious. You know, a real mixed bag. But you would find some pretty cool maps. And that's what's making me think I like I gotta play this. Is it gonna be like that? Because, you know, there's gonna be a lot of names in there. That I, I won't recognize. So there'll be a lot of names and not of amateur starter mappers. This could be their chance to get a bit of a claim. It sounds like the kind of project I absolutely should play, really. As someone who likes to champion, you know, via playtesting streams, the underdog. That's also the reason why. That's also the reason why I decided not to bother with Tarnsman's projectile hell. Although I suppose that is a significant release. Um, you know, it's not as significant. And Tarnsman is already an acclaimed mapper, so. It's not, it's not as significant as, say, Back to Saturn X would be, Episode 3, or Adventures of Squirty 3. Anyway, I, sh I shouldn't really talk about too much Doom stuff while most of the Doom audience aren't here. But I have to mention it occasionally. If I know this was going on, I've made a map for it as well, if you don't want to make it. Well, I'm still thinking. There's still the Doom World Maximum project, Corn King. I've been I've been asked to do a map for that, and I might do that later in the year. Given the timing of ramp, I wouldn't have wanted. Even though it sounds pretty fun, I wouldn't have been really been able to take part because I've been busy. Like if it was happening over the summer, that might have been a different story. Given that I now have a summer to look forward to. So it really should be a. Uh, any question? Does it just said G? Well, if we quick look at the thread, uh, yeah, it just says the, the hub will be targeted at GZ Doom, but any format of map is welcome. So they are using GZ Doom as the source port, but you can use whatever the hell you want. Oh wow, the maps have to be in by the sixth of July. So really, then this. Um, project should be coming out any day now. It's just a case of compiling the map set together and then releasing it. Oh man, imagine if it released this weekend. I would be in such an awkward spot. Like, I, there is something else I wanted to play. I might have to change my plan. I might have to start playing Ramp. And Ramp's not going to be a short project if I engage with it. It's got a lot of maps in it, apparently. I don't know how many submissions are actually in it, but I think it's way over a hundred. I wonder if there's an exact number that's quoted. Okay, he mentions 200 custom ones on his channel. But that doesn't necessarily talk about how many there are uh, in the ward. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if there's an approximate number of how many maps there are. Mm, wow. Seems like there's been a fair bit of drama in the thread too. Could be interesting. Okay, uh, any quotes on numbers? Nope, it doesn't give me any idea. No idea. It, it doesn't, it, I guess we'll find out in the compilation. Oh yeah, sorry, we are playing a game. Well, for a little bit. I will be having to stop soon because it is getting a bit late and I do have to get ready for work in the morning. Now, where to next? <laughs> See what's in there. Oh, it's gives a crystal maze flashbacks, this kind of thing. Honestly. I've, and technically, I've already played one of the maps in it as well. <laughs> so I have a bit of a preview of what to expect. Whoa, look at all this stuff. 
So, we meet again, Betrayer Aris. I'm not talking to you. You are a betrayer. You are. What? You are a betrayer. You are a betrayer. Yeah, I think you would be too, considering you nearly killed, put me down to one health. Yes, you did. No, that's exactly what you meant. あなたたちが確実に協力を選ぶって分かっていれば、協力に投票したわよ。ま、今なら何とでも言えるよな。何よ。ここから確実に出たいと思うことがそんなに悪い？私は絶対にここから出なくちゃいけないの。それじゃあ
Because you chose to betray. こんなのフェアじゃないわ。あなたたちのことも聞かせてもらわないと。まずは天明寺さんから。あなたは一体何者ただの廃品回収業者じゃよ。ゼロに心当たりはないな。フォークとはどんな関係なのあなたとクォークも知り合いなんでしょそこまで答えなければならんかねどうしても教えたくないって言うなら仕方ないけどそうかではすまんがその件についてはノーコメントとさせてもらうことにしようアリスだって全てを話してくれたわけではないしなそう分かったわそれじゃあ次はリオねあなたの職業は何大抵この話をするとびっくりされるんだが実はサーカスの団長をしてるんだ、oh, I had no、idea. Would never have guessed. 団長ああ、like、50人ほどのキャラバンを率いて各地を点々と巡業して回ってるもともとは俺のじいさんのじいさんが立ち上げたサーカスなんだが親父が若くして亡くなっちまったせいで俺が五代目の団長として後を継ぐことになったんだ親父は空中ブランコ乗りでなそれまで誰もやったことのなかった四回転に挑戦し失敗して真っ逆さまに落ちちまったんだよ若くしてとは言ったがその時にはもうすでに40代の半ばを超えていた年がいも殴ってやつだな若い者には負けてられんとか言って無茶するからあんなことに、yes, そうあなたもお父さんを亡くしてるのねあオッケーなんだかしみったれた話になっちまったなとにかく俺もゼロに心当たりはないよさらわれたのは千秋楽を終えて夜の街に繰り出した時のことだったベロンベロンに酔っ払って寝床であるキャンピングカーに戻る途中そこでいきなり何者かに襲われて黒いバンの中へと引きずり込まれたんだでその直後に白い煙を吸わされて気がついたら例の箱 AB ルームの中だったってわけささ俺の話はもう十分だろ最後はシグマだなお前は一体何者なんだ<音楽>あなたドクターか何かなの<音楽>苦労してるのね<音楽>今回の件について何か思い当たることは<音楽>じゃあゼロについても他のメンバーに面識があるやつは一体何者なんじゃろうなあいつは。おいおい記憶喪失なんてでたらめに決まってんだろうがまだ疑ってるの当然だ The ever smiling globe. 昼は学生夜はカフェバーで働いてるみたいよ。She has a permanent smile on her face. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah, okay. Grandpa. That's why I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. そんなに詳しくは知らないのねクオークのことまあそういうことになるかのルナのことなら俺が知ってるぜ
But he does know about Quark. Quite a bit. It's his grandpa or else some other odd connection. And now Drauk is his favorite character. Medical license. So she's like a nurse or a doctor, I guess. あるいは獣医かもしれんぞ。どっちなのかはわからない。まあ見た目からすると、ナースの可能性の方が高いと思うが。So your two favorite characters in this game and the Danganronpa series both happen to be nurses. Moving on. Pure coincidence. Ah. <laughs> exactly the right thing. I think it's the most mysterious person to me. What are you doing now, Kanojo? Sigma, in this case, you have been spending a long time with Kanojo. Do you have anything to tell me about Fai? とにかく分からんだ。分からんのだが分かったのだ。ただなんとなくお前の名前がシグマなのではないかと。No, there's no we're not, we're not talking about our supposed weird relationship that we may or may not have. <laughs> I hadn't really realized it until I said it. I'd spent hours with V and yet I knew nothing about her except her name and I only had her word that even that was the truth. Who was she really? The more I thought about it, the more suspicious she seemed. <laughs> Well, you're right about that. There'll be some connection or reason as it's going down. You are definitely involved in it. So is Clover. Since you were both involved in the previous game. I don't know what the other seven deal is. Will we, all, will we all just come down to having to press a button in the past again to help someone else? And what is Alice's profession then? Uh, Apart from professional frozen mummy and ever living individual, arguably. <laughs> I'm going to the lounge. Bye. So the last area I can check out. Mata out of there. I head out of the infirmary. I saw a puzzle on the left there. I guess that's something we'll be solving and we start in the infirmary next time. Don't know how long that's gonna be. Oh, that's adorable as well. If you both did the adorable face at the same time, I'd probably die of overdose of cuteness. And she's still smiling. Oh wow. R L R L O E D I M I under one. Bar. A sofa. And three ladies. I feel like I'm in the VIP room. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that's adorable as well. Oh, okay then. I guess Clover's aged a few years. What was the actual year of 999? Maybe this is like a few years after it, I guess. <laughs> Hey, having a drink or two didn't stop, uh, uh, fuck, I forgot what his name was again. It didn't stop the amnesiac from the previous game from enjoying a drink. Yeah, but it doesn't usually make the situation any better for those people. Sigma san? Tutu, Mada no te nakata no ka? Daishobu desu ka? took place in 2027. So this is a year out, year later then. Okay. I'm sure there was some confirmation of that date I just missed. Zutsu そうただ、なんていうか、こう、She's always smiling. It's weird. Best not to get too hung up. I'm just going to assume that they just decided to make Quova permanently smile for whatever reason. She was a lot more serious in the first game. Maybe a time in a year has made her a lot more cheerful or something. あ、それなら私も感じないこともないぞ。まるで自分の体が自分のものではないような。ふわふわと宙を舞っているような。そんな感覚だろ。ウォーティ。もしかしたら麻酔ガスの成果も知れませんね。ここに運び込まれる前に
I'm sorry, Kay, but I need to I need to quit. We're gonna have to find out whatever the horrible news is next time. So I need to start winding down. That seems like a perfect point. So, uh it's all about betrayal is right from the intro. This game has a betrayal, prisoner's dilemma, ally or betray situation in it. And we have been betrayed. Fuck you, Alice. Fuck you. So... Yeah, still kind of interesting so far. It kind of feels like they dialed back the interesting extra stuff a bit. It feels like they sort of streamlined the dialogue a bit, I guess. Just a little bit. But, whatever, it's still engaging. It's still an interesting enough story for the time being. I hope that uh, <laughs> all two of you who are here tonight have enjoyed the stream. Uh, I, will be con I will be continuing with this tomorrow. Uh, so there will be another stream of this tomorrow night. And then, after that, I might play the Doom thing. Anyway... I hope you all have a good evening, and we are going to raid um, Miyagi TV. He's playing some Doom. So, I'll stay safe out there, have a good evening, see you tomorrow for some more. Night-night.